Hello everyone, it's Diva Carla, Cosmic Crone. And I promised to come live today to speak to you for a few minutes about desire and destiny. Uh, it's been on my mind as, well, as I, uh, it's time for my birthday. My birthday is a week from today. And uh, I always, there's something about the birthday that feels like a, a, a calling into the self. So uh, as I also I'm getting ready to release a new website, The Cosmic Crone is birthing through this whole branding process. I started out with one business and ended up with another. Um, same, basically the same business. It's just that there's a new person speaking through me. And that's destiny tapping into desire for fuel. So if you've been hanging out with me at all, you might have heard me say, desire is God calling. That is the simplest way that I like to put it. Um, when we're looking for inner guidance, when we want to know what God's will for us is, if we want to hear spirit talking to us, there is a system uh, inside our bodies that tell us when God is bringing us or pulling us towards something, something that is meant for us, something that is our highest calling, something that is God's will, if that's the language you know. Um, and it is desire. Uh, it's a physical embodied thing in, that you feel in your gut and your womb and your heart and between your legs. It is neurotransmitters um, firing off and uh, um, bathing parts of your brain and your nervous system. I mean, it's a physical system that says, I want that. My heart races, My, I feel excited, I feel attractive, I feel alive. I want to go there when some idea, concept, thing uh, comes into your consciousness. And sometimes it comes out of you. It's a creative idea. It is inspired. Really, you are literally breathing it in from the cosmos and breathing it out from your own heart and your own body. So this is a contrast to what many of us learned about what we want, what we desire. Uh, I know that I learned to, I was taught to actively suppress my desires, that it was selfish or uh, materialistic or worldly, or uh, some desires were sinful, greedy, um, all kinds of horrible, horrible associations with this very natural impulse to desire, this God-given, divinely implanted impulse towards desire. How else can life get our attention? Well, it can get our attention with pain. We do that all the time. That's considered holy and um, righteous and uh, godly to suffer. Um, but one reason that uh, pain is necessary is because we're not paying attention and going after our desire. These two are a communication loop. They both have things to teach us about going. And, and who says, you know, desire, is it leading me down the wrong path? Uh, is it more righteous and holy uh, to take the path of suffering or challenge or difficulty? That's a good question because desire is not, um, it's not unicorn farts and fairy dust and glitter and sprinkles. It, we may have moments where it feels like that. But when we actually step on the path to our desire, there are, um, well, that's why I posted yesterday 
there is terror in this moment when you actually hear the call of your desire and your soul says yes towards your destiny. <clears throat> if you have conflict about your desire, and we all do, if your desire, following your desire, means you have to change your life, you have to say no to something that frightens you to say no to, you have to say yes to something that feels very unknown and like a big stretch, that maybe you're not good enough or ready or worthy, desire is like that. Maybe not desire for chocolate cream pie or rum butter ice cream. That's not real desire. That's a yin. But the desire to be important, significant, to express your gift, to make a living using your highest gifts, to move to a new place, to up-level your vibration and the people and things and um, everything that you have in your life to live in a better place, to have a unique experience, to have a great love. All of these desires are soul desires and heart desires that are pulling you towards your destiny, towards your greatness. They're calling something out of you that can feel really scary. And I'll bet anyone listening here could raise your hand and say, oh yeah, I've taken that step. Or, and, <laughs> and or, it's both and. I've, I'm poised. Um, I'm poised on the edge. Of, of a big step, a big leap, and it scares me. And there's nothing that I want more than that. I had a dream Sunday morning of climbing a p tall pole to a platform like you would see at the, uh, the trapeze artist in the big top at the circus. And I was supposed to jump off and land on a little trampoline and safely bounce up and down. Uh, so that I didn't crush myself on the ground. And as I got up there, I was so terrified that even in my dream, I was climbing up with my eyes closed and just feeling because it was just too terrifying to make that climb to that elevation. And then I got up there and they took the, the uh, trampoline away. And they shut the thing down. They said, class is over. We're taking down the ladder and you can't jump. And, you know, come down. And it was, and, and basically, they didn't even notice I was up there. It was just like, okay, class is over. We're done. And in dream magic, I wound up on the ground. I don't know how I got there. Yelling at people and saying, that's not fair. I did all the work to climb up. I want the rewards. I want to take my leap. And I feel like maybe that's where this destiny and desire came, came through. I'm at that moment of leaping into great things that I would love to accomplish, complete, and receive. And I've had so many great things come to me the last couple of years. And yes, there's more. And all of those things were preparing me, letting go of some things so that I can let new things in. And so here I am standing at this moment of leaping, and it feels like they're going to take it all away. Um, don't let that happen to you. I didn't let it happen to me. I went into a ritual later that day and said, I don't like the way that dream ended. I'm going to take the message from it, but I'm going to rewrite it. I am going to give myself the neurology, the experience of leaping off of that platform. And I actually did it twice in two different ways. And it felt much better. It said, I can leap. I leap towards my destiny. And it's so funny because a leap, sometimes it's a leap, but really it's a step. A step is a big as a leap. The way you get off of a platform is you step off. You don't really have to leap. So what is it? 
is your next step towards your destiny, towards following your desire, listening to the call of your desire towards your destiny. Is it a step or is it a leap? Well, from where you are right now, it probably feels like a leap. Uh, but when you do it, it's going to be more like a step and then the next step and then the next step and maybe a little course correct. You're always checking in with your desire. Am I on my way to my desire or did I get distracted? Is there something else that I want more now? Um, because revelation is definitely a step-by-step -step thing. We, we tend to sit back on the haunches of our desire and say, show me the way. Let me know that I can have it. Let me know that it will be easy. Let me know that it I won't get hurt. Let me know that nothing bad or scary will happen to me on the way. When I get over my fear, then I can step. It doesn't happen like that. You'll stay right where you are and worse, you will backslide. Who knows, maybe in my dream, the experience dissolved before my very eyes because I didn't have the guts to look my fear in the face. I closed my eyes. I tried to pretend I wasn't 50 feet off the ground or whatever it was. Anyway, this is just a little bit about what it's like to be where you are now, standing on the platform, ready to make your leap, feeling the mixed terror of desire, the, the, the mixed terror, joy, excitement, turn on, of your desire and knowing that your destiny, the only way to get to your destiny is to take that step. Oh, and it could be one of those steps where the bridge comes into focus. You realize that you step into the abyss and there's actually a bridge there. That's an Indiana Jones, um, the last crusade or something. Or you've got wings or there's a rope, or it's an illusion. It's solid ground. You just, you're on the path. Just keep walking. So I want to tell you of a way that I have to help you get through this moment. I have a new program that is introductory towards working with me. It's, uh, it's 30 days, three sessions. Usually we get it done in three sessions. And for those of you who've had the uh, Divine Feminine Astrology reading, it starts with the Divine Feminine Astrology reading. We use that to get a, um, we use the goddess points of your natal chart to get a picture of what your resources are, your opportunities, your desires. Uh, and then we take that information that comes up in the reading and, and all the spaces in between. And we do a couple of more sessions of deep diving and check in with your unconscious mind and your old patterns and belief systems and the ways that you feel like you're stopping yourself. And we get underneath all of that so that you know what your real desire is, you know what your real next steps are, you know what your obstacles are and we can go deeper and deeper and deeper. We go all the way down to what's ready to release. And then you will walk away with opportunity, desire, knowing, clarity. Um, you, you're clearer on your purpose. You, you may have never known your purpose before and you will leave here knowing your purpose or you may just need permission to actually go for your purpose. Either way, wherever you're at with that, that's one of the things that you get from doing this program. So I just wanted to introduce it to you because I know a lot of us are standing right here. It is a wild time in um, our nation's history, those of us in the United States. It's a wild time in the world. And as you're going to find out when my new website is released, now is the time for wise women who lead. 
So if you're standing at this point, you can't get out of your own way and you know you're called to leadership and to profound service and purpose, then I am happy to help you. I'll tell you, it is $4.97 for this 30-day program. If you've had a Divine Feminine Astrology reading in 2019, uh, reach out to me and we'll talk about how you can upgrade. You'll get credit for that reading and we'll look at your, take another look at your chart in a new way. So uh, I'm going to put, I'm going to post this. Uh, I've got a phone call I've got to make right now. I'm going to post this in the group here. Oh, Womb Wisdom Portal, and you can take a look at it. Uh, you can also private message me or send me an email at divacarla at orgasmicalchemy.com and say, I want to do this. Um, tell me more. Tell me how I get started, and we'll get you started. So desire and destiny. Feel your desire and stretch towards your destiny, and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.